Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Coordinate Geometry. Here are the solutions of exercise 7.1 and this is part 6 video. Dear students, in this video, we will learn the question number 12 and question number 13 of the exercise 7.1. Here is the question. Find the values of y for which the distance between the point P2-3 and the point Q10Y is 10 units. I shall repeat the question. Find the values of Y for which the distance between the point P coordinates 2 minus 3 and the point Q the coordinates 10Y is 10 units. Here it is given that the distance between these two points P and Q is equal to 10 units. Then you have to find the value of this missing y coordinate. You see this solution. Here we are given two points. The first point P 2 minus 3 and the coordinates of Q is 10 y. Let us assume that the coordinates of P x1 y1 and the coordinates of Q as x2 y2. And let us write the distance between the two points. It is given that P Q distance is equal to 10 units. Now, what is the formula to find the distance? Distance is root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. x2, x2 value is 10 and x1 value is 2. x2 minus x1 means 10 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. y2 value is y and y1 value is minus 2. y2 minus y1, therefore y minus of minus 3 is plus 3 whole square, given that this distance is equal to 10 units, isn't it? Now, what is 10 minus 2? 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 whole square, 8864, plus, this is in the form of a plus b whole square. What is the formula to find a plus b whole square? What is the expanded form? Good. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Therefore, y plus 3 whole square means y square plus 2ab means 2 into y into 3. 2, 3 is 6 into y is 6y plus 3 square, 3, 3 is 9 is equal to 10. Now, in order to remove the square root, let us square on both sides. By squaring on both sides, LHS whole square means square root and square will be cancelled. You have y square plus 6y, 64 plus 9 is 73 is equal to 10 square. 10 tens 100. Now let us bring this 100 to the other side. Then y square plus 6y plus 73 plus 100 other side minus 100 is equal to 0. And what is 73 minus 100? 73 minus 100 is minus 27. And this is y square plus 6y. 73 minus 100 is minus 27 is equal to 0. And let us find the factors for this quadratic polynomial equation. Now, y square plus 6y minus 27 factors are y minus 3 and y plus 9. y minus 3 into y plus 9 is equal to 0. If we equate the first factor y minus 3 to 0, then y is equal to minus 3 other side plus 3. And if we equate the second factor y plus 9 to 0, then y is equal to plus 9 other side minus 9. Now, how many values we got? We got two values for y. Therefore, we have to find here y value. Therefore, y is equal to either 3 or minus 9. Is it clear, students? Good. Now, let us solve question number 13. Here is the question number 13. Find the radius of the circle whose center is 3, 2 and passes through minus 5, 6. I shall repeat. Find the radius of the circle whose center is 3, 2 and passes through the point minus 5, 6. You see, here is a circle. You can find a circle here and this is the center of the circle and it is a point on the circumference of the circle or on the circle. Okay. Now, the distance between the center of the circle to any point on the circle will give us radius. Radius is nothing but the distance between the center of the circle and any point on its circumference. This length is radius. This length is nothing but the distance between these two points, isn't it? You see, here is the solution. We are given two points. Let us name the first point as P 
coordinates 3 2 and let us assume the second point is q coordinates minus 5 6 here let us assume that the coordinates of p x 1 y 1 and the coordinates of q x 2 y 2 this is the center the coordinates 3 2 and it is a point on the circle minus 5 6 now in order to find the radius we know that p q distance is nothing but the radius of the circle p this is p and this is q the distance between p and q will give the radius of the circle now what is the formula to find the distance between two points p and q root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square good now x2 minus x1 x2 value is minus 5 minus x1 means minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square y2 value is 6 and y1 value is 2 therefore y2 minus y1 means 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 whole square now minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8 whole square plus 6 minus 2 is 4 whole square minus 8 whole square means minus into minus is plus 8 8 64 plus 4 square 4 4 16 and 64 plus 16 is equal to root over 80 you can write 80 as 16 into 5 square root of 16 is 4 into root 5 units therefore the radius of the given circle is equal to 4 root 5 units is it clear students very good thank you thank you ananda